Congratulations on the purchase of your Far Infrared Massage Bed. This bed should give you years of use and service and bring to you an entirely new clientele. Some of the best compliments the beds get are in terms of the pain relief for fibromyalgia, arthritis, and back pain, as well as a host of other conditions. We look forward to working with you now and in the future. Welcome to the team. Please be sure to read the instruction guide and tips that came with the bed. Welcome to the Hybrid Infrared Massage Bed Training Video. This video is designed to familiarize yourself with the functions of the hybrid bed. If you have the massage bed without the dome, simply ignore any references to the dome. For the purposes of this training video, our actors remain clothed. For general use, most people will use the beds with a towel or even disrobed completely. One of the first things we want to do is be sure the client understands the use of the bed and what to expect so they get the most enjoyable experience. When our clients are going in the bed for the first time, we typically will take a bath sized towel, fairly thick, double fold it over and put it down as cushioning in between the rollers and the body. You may also find with clients that have very little padding, fibromyalgia, or even sensitive backs, they may be more comfortable using two or three yoga mats, and as they get more accustomed to the rollers, they can peel them off one at a time. It is very important before the client gets on the bed to set the expectations as to what they should expect for the next 30 minutes. We explain that this is a deep tissue massage and should feel deep but never painful. To that end, if the client does find it deep, they need to take the first few minutes and try to relax and breathe through it. The rollers are heated with far infrared and it will penetrate into the back making for a very relaxing experience but they will need to relax to allow the rollers to do their work. Roller positioning can be a preference to the user or to yourself as you're setting them up. What we typically do is align the bottom roller in line with the dome when it's at its lowest position. This allows the client to sit in between the rollers, slide their feet into the dome, and then slide down so the back of their thighs is resting against the bottom roller. Next, they should lay back gently into position. This is a good time to explain that when the top roller finishes, it should finish at the top of the neck. That ensures that they are in the correct position. This is also another good time to explain the difference in arm positions. If the client likes it very warm, they should put their hands on their stomach or on their chest. If they don't like it as warm, if they position their hands at their sides, it will result in a cooler experience. Remember, make sure the client understands the positioning of the body so that the top roller finishes at the top of their neck. They understand the position of their arms will affect the heat felt during the session. And make sure they understand to relax so that they get the best possible session. What we find as well with about a third of the clients is they have a very sensitive SI area. In this case, what we do is just take another face towel and put it down for a little extra cushioning for their initial sessions. Next, we're going to look at the functions of the remote control. By pushing main and sub, it will activate the rollers and the indicator lights will come on on the remote control. You can see the indicators in the bottom left that shows top and bottom rollers. You can also see the mode that the bed is set to, in this case massage. And in the bottom right corner, you will see the temperature that the rollers are set to. By pushing the dome function, you will activate the movement of the dome as well as the heating. Notice the temperature in the top left corner indicating the dome. 
the indicator in the right indicating that it's active, as well as the red ring showing that the heat is on in the dome. Be sure to verify each time that all four indicator lights are active. By pushing mode, you can cycle through the mode in which the massage bed is in, from massage to manual to auto 1, 2, and 3. Auto 1, 2, and 3 represent the various acupressure modes and can be found in your user guide. Manual mode allows you to adjust the rollers manually by pushing the position adjust buttons at the bottom left of the roller. This is typically used to position the rollers initially for the client. Adjusting the temperature on the hybrid bed is simple. There's two indicator lights. At the bottom is the rollers, at the top is the domes. By pushing select, one of them will begin flashing. This will indicate the one you are about to change, in this case, the dome. While it is flashing, simply push the temperature up and down buttons to adjust the temperature of either the dome or the rollers. We usually set the dome to the highest setting and refer to the user guide for temperature setting of the rollers. From doing a lot of trade shows, we have found that we can increase the ambience for the client in the bed by utilizing a couple of things. Instead of hearing a lot of background noise, we will stick on a noise cancelling headset with disposable earpieces attached to an iPod. Spa music tends to give the client the best experience. You may also place a face cloth or an eye pillow with a Kleenex under it to avoid the light shining in their eyes. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call one of our specialists at 1-877-728-6270.